Good morning. WordPress block themes are a brand new type of theme that give you ultimate control. You can design your entire website, the head of the footer, everything just using blocks. And in today's video, I'm going to show you five cool, amazing things you probably didn't know you could do with them in five minutes. Did you know you can now mix themes together? So over on the left here, I have the Spectral One theme. Over here on the right, I have the 2023 theme. And I can actually use parts of this theme on the left over here on the right. So what I'm going to do is just grab the header. I'm going to pop in here and just select the group, which is within the header. That's actually the navigation and all the header stuff. I'm going to come across here to the right and I just want to select that header there. I'm going to delete that one completely. I'm going to click on this group here and go insert before. And then all I'm going to do is paste my header in. Now it's the wrong color at the moment, but that's fine. We can just grab the color with my little color picker over here, grab that purple and then come across here to the background and I can add the background color in myself. There's the background. You see the buttons are slightly wrong color, but that's close enough for me. And let's close that down. The only other thing I probably want to do here is I want to add a bit more space between these navigation elements. Again, that's very simple to do. Just make sure you've got the navigation block selected and you can do that by coming up here and selecting it come across here to your styles and then you just come down to block settings and you see we've got the space. So now we've got a pretty similar header. Actually, we need a little bit more padding. We can do that again. We can just select the group itself and then come down here to styles and we want to add a bit of padding above and below. I've done that very roughly, but you get the idea. It's probably a bit, no, that's pretty good. There we go. So I've got our new header running along the top here. Creating custom post layouts is ridiculously easy using a block theme. I've added one here, which is called Movies. I've used ACF to create my custom post. And you'll see as soon as you do that, when you go into the site editor, that actually generates that as a template available for you. If I go into templates here, here we go. There's my single item movie. I'll click on that. And this is the one I've customized. You see all I've done. Let's have a look at this. Actually, I've clicked on the list view and I've added the cover block in there which is gonna bring in the post title here and the post exit underneath. Let's actually go and have a look at this just so you can see what this looks like. So my normal blog post will look like this. This is my normal blog post layout. For my custom post layout though, I want to think more visual and it looks just like this. 10 minutes work and fantastically easy. It's also really, really easy to use third party layouts or your own layouts if you've saved them. Over on the right here, we're actually viewing the block pattern library. These are patterns that have been created by the community in WordPress. They are hosted on wordpress.org. Just go to wordpress.org and download and extend and you can see them all under patterns. Here's a few here. And if you want to use these on your site, you can literally hover over it and click copy. This is a magazine grid with featured images. Come over to your site on the left here and you can literally paste that pattern in. And there we go, there's my brand new pattern. It might need a little bit of touching up, so in this case, I just maybe wanna change that text color there to a white color. But there we go, there's my new layout, and all I would do in this case, I would delete my existing pattern here. And then I've got my brand new, nice, super duper layout just down here. It's also now very easy to make your own block themes with no code needed whatsoever. This is actually one I've built, and it's a portfolio theme. And you can export this and everything you've created when you're building your site will be exported as a new theme. So all the page templates that you've created, all the fonts will be embedded in that theme, all the design elements will be embedded in that theme. So you can actually take a WordPress website, use a block theme, design that site how you like, and then export your design out as a brand new theme. You'll see this one features this really nice big full screen custom post that I've created for it. But there is a free plugin that enables me to export this out as a brand new theme. And it's called the Create Block Theme plugin. Here it is. And let's go to install plugins. And this is the one you're gonna want, Create Block Theme. There's an update coming soon, which I'm gonna do a video on actually. Just install that plugin. It also allows you to manage fonts and add fonts. And those fonts are embedded into your themes. Click on Create Block Theme. And then this is the option you want, the clone one, this one here, Clone 2023, click on that. And now you can actually give your theme a brand new name. I'm gonna call it Jamie's Portfolio Theme, but you can call it whatever you like here. You give it a theme description, URL, all that normal stuff. You can also now add a screenshot. This is gonna be the little thumbnail for your theme. And then you can also choose some tags down here, but click on Generate. That will export everything out that you've got 
as a zip file. You can see it happening down here, jamiesportfolio.zip. And that is all you need then to upload to your new site, or you could sell that yourself as your brand new theme. Okay, let's see what happens when we add that brand new theme that I've just created to this site running Spectral One. So I'm gonna go up here to themes, and then I'm gonna click on add new theme, upload my theme, and then just find it. I saved it to my desktop, I hope. Where's it gone? There it is, Jamie Portfolio. Let's click on install, cross our fingers, <laughs> and let's activate it. And there's my brand new theme. I didn't upload a custom screenshot, but let's go and look at the site. And boom, there we go. There's my amazing new theme up and running that I created on another site, but exported as a brand new theme. You can see it features these really lovely full screen single post layouts that I created. That's because it exports all your page templates when you generate a brand new theme, all your fonts, everything. So it really is fantastically easy now to build your own block themes. And this final thing is a small thing, but nobody really knows about it. And it's this time to read block that's been added in the site editor in the latest version of Gutenberg. And you'll see this post here is saying two minutes, but if I go to this post, it's a little bit longer. It's telling me that is four minutes to read. And if I go to really one of my long posts, you'll see that 16 minutes. I think this is a really nice, simple addition that you can add to your sites. It just makes it visible to your readers how long it's gonna take them to read. And I think they're probably more likely to read if they can see how long it's gonna take them. And I'm gonna show you quickly how I did this. So I just go into the editor here and you'll see all I've done up here is add this little block here. This is the time to read block that now comes with the site editor. And that will automatically calculate how long that post is gonna take one of your readers to read. I hope you found some of that stuff new and interesting and useful. And if you want to get more into block themes, I'm actually running a monthly live and interactive block theme hands-on course now. Details in description below if you want to book a place. Thank you for watching. If you can hit the like button now, it would be amazing because it really makes a huge difference in terms of how many people actually see this video. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos around WordPress and Gutenberg and the block editor, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.